So since the price of Bitcoin has dropped again below $40,000, what to expect next? Because I want to show you one very, very interesting scenario that is actually pointing out, even though we are witnessing the small price pullback, this price pullback should be absolutely fine because you can see here, if we simply use the CPI lines right now, the price here is retesting this monthly as to support line and this monthly as to line is at 38,700 price level because you can see here exactly when the price came around this 38,000 this line acted as a very very strong support and now the price is also holding its ground above this 38,000 price level so what to expect next guys because if you can see here right now where we are focusing is this monthly as one line because as i've said you if the price here is going to find support above this monthly S2 line, then we could be expecting some impulsive move that could bring us at least around this 48,000 price level, right? And now let me show you why I believe that this 48,000 price level actually makes a lot of sense. Because if you look at this year in an hourly time frame, what we can do if you monitor this each and every price movement, you can see pretty similar scenario has been unfolding again and again. Price form this very nice rising channel broke out of this rising channel saw a small price pullback here again price was unable to find support at the lower line area saw another price pullback so what we are going to do we are going to add similar scenario just like with previous example because you can see here this was also a very nice ascending channel type of scenario but once we broke out of this lower line area tried to re-enter this ascending channel got a rejection right and then we saw this price pullback so now what i am actually expecting is the price of bitcoin could be forming another ascending channel type of scenario so that's why guys that's why i'm saying you right now even if we are going to see any sort of a price pullback this price here could still form this ascending channel type of scenario and slowly head towards this price target level of 48,000 area because as i've already showed you with different example the reason why we are calling this 48,000 scenario to play out is because also looking at this in a daily time frame i showed you in today's video that this arc or you can also curl curve this curve here has always attracted the price because you can see here when we started moving in an upper duration this curve always attracted the price before seeing a reversal after that but it has also attracted the price towards its line so that's why i say to you if this is going to unfollow again guys then i am also expecting price of bitcoin to see pullback at least around this curve line because if that's going to happen right for us right now it's obvious that we are finding a strong resistance because you can see here very very clearly support and resistance are between this price level of thirty thousand and forty two thousand price level this was the peak from january month and the same line with previously also acted as a resistance is actually holding the price but to the downside you can see very clearly the support line which previously also acted as a support did held the price along with this cpi line the s3 line which was sitting around 30,300 price level so now according to this analysis also guys what i'm actually trying to show you here is that if we are going to find support above this resistance line right if that's going to happen and we are going to find support then there is very likely that we are going to get attracted towards this curve line so that's why we are going to monitor this price around 38,000, and we know 38,000 is a very strong support and even if we are going to see any sort of a pullback that could bring us around this 37,600. but we are aware this could be forming an ascending channel and according to this ascending channel we should see a very nice bounce if that is going to happen i mean a pullback around the lower line area because in the previous bitcoin price action this ascending channel in a smaller time frame has acted as a support so that's why we could see some impulsive move following after that so these are some of the scenarios i see right now looking at the price action of bitcoin and now let's also have a quick look at ethereum price action and also guys i would really really appreciate if you could take just two seconds of your time and destroy that like button and for those individuals watching this for the first time hit that subscribe button and the bell so if you are aware guys for ether what i'm actually going to do here is i'm going to simply add this ascending channel type of scenario because we are aware when the price of ether saw this massive correction where did it end it again guys back towards this ascending channel you can see here this lower line has also previously acted as a very very strong support line upper line acted as a resistance i have talked about this plenty of time in my videos so once we were unable to find support of this previous temporary resistance line we saw this massive pullback and i said you this pullback here could actually bring us again inside this ascending channel and look at this 
exactly when we had this price pullback the price was able to find support at the lower line area just like here just like here so that's why guys in a daily time frame for ether around this 2450 2460 we do have a very very strong support but if you look at this here in a four hour time frame what we can do here guys is we can simply add a scenario which is known as descending channel because if you monitor the price structure here around this descending channel the upper line acted as a strong resistance but lower line here acted as a very very strong support line and when the price of ether was unable to find support at the lower line area of the descending channel we saw this pullback and look at this guys now the reason why we were actually finding difficulty to break above this three thousand dollars because the same line which previously acted as a support 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 acted as a resistance and didn't let the price to close above it but if you monitor this price movement inside the descending channel another very very interesting scenario might also be unfolding which is known as descending broadening wedge for ethereum because in the past ether price action whenever we have formed this descending broadening wedge we have seen plenty of fake outs happening but at the end this descending broadening wedge has played out in most of the cases so that's why right now you can see let's delete this descending channel and look at this price structure using this descending broadening wedge because the line which previously acted as a support didn't let the price to again close above it and acted as a resistance you can see here support same line acted as a resistance support same line acted around the price level as a resistance so now we want at any cost the price of ether to stay above this 2300 to 2400 price level because if that's going to happen right if this resistance is going to pull back a bit lower we should be absolutely fine because i am actually expecting this double bottom type of scenario playing out and price breaking out of this upper line area of this descending bottom wedge very very soon because this is also going to play out as a double bottom type of scenario and if that is going to happen right then in our case right now let's suppose if we are going to see any sort of a pullback and the price pullback is more of a consolidation type of scenario and then breaking here to the upside if that's going to happen then you can see the price of ether could see again above four thousand dollar but for now in a daily time frame we will be expecting some sort of a price movement that could actually again bring us around this three thousand four hundred to three thousand five hundred price level and any sort of a pullback the same line here around this 2460 2400 price level is going to act as a support if we are going to see any sort of a pullback and also here there is a very very strong support line and this is also around this 2420 2450 price level so these are some of the scenarios i thought sharing with you in today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope this video was helpful enough if that's the case then please hit the like button and for those individuals watching this for the first time hit that subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anu bye bye guys